For decades, lithium was considered the undisputed king of the energy revolution. It was chosen to fuel the promise of electric cars, long-lasting batteries, and the long-awaited break with fossil fuels. But what no one expected was that a banal metal, present in soda cans and under our feet everywhere on the planet, would emerge as the true hero of this story. Aluminum, previously relegated to a supporting role, is about to take center stage. And Tesla is driving this game changer. The promise? A technological leap so great that it could put an end to the lithium era once and for all. The chemistry behind the new aluminum ion batteries is what intrigues experts the most. They operate at more stable temperatures, charge faster, are incredibly durable, and, best of all, don't carry the same fire risks as lithium batteries. Tesla plans to implement this new technology on a large scale in the 2026 Model 2. And it's no exaggeration to say this represents a revolution. With plans to produce 85 terawatt hours per year by 2026, the company aims to produce enough energy to power 212 million vehicles. That's right, million. It's a scale the world has never seen before. While global lithium battery production barely reaches 28 TDTAT1 per year, Tesla is preparing to triple that capacity alone. But the most interesting thing isn't just the numbers, but how this will happen. Aluminum is everywhere. It represents 8, 1% of the Earth's crust, making it 1,500 times more abundant than lithium. This means that, unlike lithium, aluminum doesn't depend on limited reserves or unstable political conditions. Mining can be done cleanly, safely, and most importantly, with recycled waste. And this is where the genius of the plan begins to emerge. Tesla's aluminum batteries will be made largely from materials that would normally go to waste. Beverage cans, construction parts, and industrial scrap. Recycling efficiency reaches 98.5%, making the process not only viable, but also extremely sustainable. With every discarded can, there's a new potential energy cell. This turns the game upside down, putting Tesla on a collision course with an industry that has profited for decades from the exploitation of scarce metals. The lithium industry, accustomed to controlling the narrative, now finds itself exposed. The promise of clean energy has always come with a hidden price. Destructive mining, water use in desert regions, and child labor in unstable areas like the Congo. Now, with aluminum emerging as a real and scalable alternative, this house of cards is beginning to crumble. And we're not talking about something far away. Plans are already underway, and the Model 2 will be just the first of many products to break this dependency. The psychological impact of this shift is profound. The idea that entire landscapes needed to be devastated to save the planet always sounded contradictory. But now there's concrete evidence that there's another way. Companies that bet everything on lithium are being forced to rethink their business models. And more than that, public trust is beginning to shift when it's discovered that the same, or better, can be done with what was previously considered waste, everything starts to be questioned. Another interesting point is that aluminum is not only more abundant, but also much easier to transport and handle. This reduces logistical costs and allows for the creation of regional production chains. Instead of relying on a handful of countries for raw materials, Tesla can create cells virtually anywhere in the world. This reduces geopolitical risks and creates economic opportunities in previously neglected locations. The aluminum revolution is not just technical, it's also strategic. If aluminum is the new gold of electric mobility, Tesla's factories are the modern mines where this wealth will be extracted, refined, and transformed into energy. But we're not talking about ordinary factories. What's being built behind the scenes is a global infrastructure designed down to the smallest detail to break the old paradigms of the energy industry. Each gigafactory is part of a larger machine designed to work in sync and with almost surgical efficiency. And all of this with a single goal, to ensure that aluminum replaces lithium on a scale never before imagined. 
Starting in the United States, the Texas Gigafactory has become the beating heart of this new era. Expected to produce 25 TWN per year by the end of 2026, this plant alone already surpasses the annual production capacity of many nations. There are 47 assembly lines operating 24-7, delivering a cell every 2.3 seconds. To maintain this insane pace, more than 35,000 people were hired, each earning an average salary of U $75,000 per year, an economic boost that goes far beyond electric mobility. But Tesla's ambition doesn't stop at the American borders. The construction of the new Gigafactory in Mexico, strategically located near Monterrey, is one of the most ambitious industrial projects in the country's recent history. With an investment of US $8, 5 billion, the facility will produce 20 Tiladi Durduan per year for the Latin American market and will also serve as the main export hub for South America. This plant alone is expected to generate 28,000 direct jobs and over 180,000 indirect jobs. We're talking about a large-scale economic transformation. In Europe, the move is even more strategic. The Gigafactory Berlin will become the epicenter of operations, with additional factories planned for Poland and Spain. Together, they are expected to reach 25 TWN per year by the end of 2026. In addition to accelerating production, these facilities play a crucial geopolitical role, completely cutting Europe's dependence on China in the battery sector. With 42,000 new jobs being created, this move also cements Tesla as one of the largest industrial employers on the continent. Asia, in turn, is approached cautiously and cunningly. Rather than engage in direct confrontation with the Chinese giants, Tesla has opted for a flanking strategy. By investing in factories in India, Thailand, and South Korea, it creates a production network with a capacity of 15 TWs per year, reduces operating costs, and, incidentally, establishes a counterbalance to Chinese manipulation of the input market. This approach creates a kind of economic shield, protecting Tesla's global supply chain from any turbulence emanating from East Asia. The core of this entire plan is decentralization. By distributing production across different regions and utilizing aluminum, a widely available resource, Tesla is able to create a resilient, agile, and adaptable industrial ecosystem. Each factory has the autonomy to operate independently, but adheres to rigorous technical standards and shares innovation in real time with other units. This allows for rapid production adjustments based on regional demand and offers a flexibility that traditional industry cannot match. Another detail that goes unnoticed by many is the socioeconomic impact of these facilities. It's not just about assembling cars. Tesla factories are reshaping entire communities, generating income, infrastructure, and technical expertise in previously marginalized areas. The ripple effect extends from the local bakery to the university that trains engineers to work in this new market. Tesla isn't just producing batteries. It's creating technology development hubs across the globe. With global infrastructure in place and aluminum poised to take the throne, Tesla now focuses on what truly moves billions of people, cars. And not just any car, but the Model 2, which promises to break down market barriers with an unprecedented combination of price, technology, and range. Equipped with the new aluminum ion battery, it's not only lighter, 60% lighter to be exact, but also delivers 520 miles of range with a 75 kilowatt and pack. It's a direct hit to the heart of those who still believed electric cars were for the rich or urban luxury toys. The most impressive thing, however, is the cost. Producing this battery costs Tesla just $2,800, almost a third of what it costs to make lithium. This gives it the potential to do something previously unthinkable, sell the Model 2 for $22,000 and still maintain a 40% profit margin. Without relying on subsidies, without financial tricks, this leaves the competition stunned. While other automakers are still fighting to lower the price of their entry-level models, Tesla is positioning itself with a cheaper, more efficient, and more profitable car. 
a trident that could truly collapse the traditional automotive sector. And the plan doesn't stop with the Model 2. Tesla has already prepared the next phase with the Model 3 Highland, which will also come with an aluminum battery and promises 680 miles of range. This represents a weight reduction of 890 pounds, which directly affects the car's performance, efficiency, and even comfort. Less weight means less effort to move, less wear on parts, and less energy consumed. It's a cascading advantage that benefits every part of the vehicle. The redesigned Model Y with this new technology will arrive in 2027 with 630 miles and a $8,000 reduction in the current price. But perhaps the hardest blow to the industry will come from the freight transportation sector. The Tesla Semi, which already caused a stir before, will now be launched in 2026 with an aluminum battery that guarantees 1-200 miles of range and recharges from 0 to 80% in 15 minutes. For logistics companies and truckers, this means annual savings of $127,000 per truck just in fuel. Furthermore, it eliminates pollutant emissions, reduces maintenance costs, and allows the fleet to operate more efficiently. Tesla expects to sell 180,000 units per year by 2028, generating $27 billion in revenue from the semi alone. All of this is beginning to create a scenario that borders on the inevitable, with lower costs, greater range, faster charging, and mass production already underway. Competitors don't have much room to maneuver. Even with aggressive subsidies and cuts, beating Tesla's equation seems unlikely. Companies that resist the transition will face a perfect storm, declining sales, lost margins, and an increasingly conscientious consumer base. And in this game, Tesla is already several steps ahead. It's interesting to note how the company has shifted its focus. Before, the focus was on the car itself. Now, everything revolves around the battery, because it's what defines range, cost, and scalability. The Model 2 thus becomes a vector for this new technology. It's not just a cheap car. It's a proof of concept for how it's possible to democratize access to electric mobility without sacrificing quality, performance, or profitability. And with the Model 3, Model Y, and Model Semi following suit, Tesla is transforming its entire lineup into a showcase of technological mastery. This strategy also acts as a trap for competitors. Any attempt to copy the model requires years of adaptation, supply chain changes, and colossal investments. And while they're chasing after it, Tesla will already be on the next stage. The innovation cycle accelerates, and the space for latecomers shrinks. For many automakers, the warning bell has already sounded. What was once just a bold California startup is now a force threatening to devour the entire automotive market. If Tesla has managed to shake up the automotive industry, its next step seems even bolder, overthrowing the monopoly on personal electronics. The company is already targeting the dominance of giants like Apple, with a proposal that doesn't revolve around design or operating systems, but rather something much more fundamental, the battery. The so-called PY phone will be the first mobile device equipped with an aluminum ion battery that, according to Tesla engineers, can last a lifetime without needing to be replaced. Literally, 250,000 recharge cycles without significant loss of capacity. This makes lithium seem obsolete, fragile, and frankly, an expensive joke. To give you an idea of the difference, current lithium batteries can withstand 500 to 1,000 cycles before degrading. This forces consumers to replace their device every two or three years. The PY phone promises to maintain 95% of its original charge for five decades, something so disruptive that it breaks the planned obsolescence model that the entire electronics industry relies on. With an average price of $480, it would cost less than half the price of a current iPhone and offer equal or better performance without forcing anyone to buy a new one year after year. This same logic will be applied to the Pi tablet, which boasts almost unbelievable performance figures. According to internal projections, 
It will allow 96 hours of continuous use, weighing 55% less than current tablets. This lightness comes from the incredible energy density of aluminum batteries, which reach 3200 dobits to watt cool, a monumental leap from the 250 dobits suarings of lithium. This completely changes the way mobile devices are designed, used, and integrated into our daily lives. Imagine charging a tablet once a week and using it non-stop for four full days. It's no exaggeration. It's the new standard. With this new product line, Tesla projects to sell 180 million cell phones and 75 million tablets per year by 2028. These numbers put the company on par with current leaders, but with an offering that simply has no competition. While Apple, Samsung, and others continue to iterate on the same model, Tesla is reinventing the energy foundation of the entire supply chain. And this creates a domino effect. If consumers can have a cheaper, lighter, more durable device with superior battery life, why would they continue to pay more for less? The movement is so aggressive that it affects not only product sales, but the entire ecosystem. With batteries that don't need to be replaced, there's no need for frequent technical support, parts replacement, or forced upgrades due to performance declines. The consumption cycle slows, but customer confidence soars. And this, for any company, is a dream. In Tesla's case, it's a plan in progress. And the most curious thing? It all stems from the same core, the aluminum ion battery. By unifying its automotive and electronics lineup around this technology, Tesla creates something rare in the market, an energy identity. The same principles that make a truck last one 200 miles or a car cost $22,000 apply to a cell phone that never loses charge or a tablet that can last days without a power outlet. There are no longer boundaries between mobility consumption, and personal technology. Everything is connected by a common matrix, and this matrix is lighter, more efficient, and more durable than anything ever used on an industrial scale. While the world is still trying to understand the impact of electronics with batteries that last half a century, Tesla is already moving its pieces to take control of something even bigger, people's own homes. And it's not just about rooftop solar panels or wall-mounted batteries. The plan is much more ambitious. Tesla wants to transform the idea of housing with a radical concept. Autonomous, sustainable homes that are 100% disconnected from the grid. They don't depend on utilities, don't generate monthly bills, and operate completely autonomously like an electric car. Only with a living room, kitchen, and bedroom. These tiny houses come equipped with 750 clouds of aluminum batteries, enough to keep a traditional 300 square meter home running for six weeks without recharging. The system is comprehensive, 15 kilowatt of solar panels, an atmospheric water generator that collects up to 190 liters per day, sewage treatment, air purification, and even high-speed internet, all integrated into a lightweight, portable, and self-sufficient structure. The house becomes a kind of energy organism that self-regulates, adapts to the environment, 